What? Why? I, mm. What makes them fancy? Do they dance? Like, I want to <laughs> I just want to know what makes them fancy. TBH, I actually don't want this thing anymore. Hi, oh, boy. I don't like this at all. What's cat boy? <laughs> so, nobody asked for this, but we're doing it again. Reacting to Kijiji ads part two with Carly Wildlife. guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then hello so we're actually in Carly and her roommate Lindsay's reptile room and we actually all work together at the same store which is all reptiles today we're doing another Kijiji reaction video but this time I have my friend with me Carly to help review some of those advertisements so Carly why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself I've been working with animals since I was about 14 years old and I started going going into the wildlife education portion. I go anywhere from reptiles to equine animals to feathers, but I kind of really lean towards more the reptile and other sort of exotics. Known Natasha for a very long time now, and I just wanted to join her in a fun reaction video for interesting Kijiji ads that we have seen building up, especially during this COVID pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic I've noticed has actually brought out a lot of interesting advertisements and a lot more of them. Um, there's been, I guess, a huge, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Surge. Oh, there's been a surge in people not only buying animals, but now since a lot of things are changing, some people are returning back to work in school. Yep. There's now a big explosion of people getting rid of those animals. Quite unfortunate. Yeah. I've known Carly for about seven years now, so that's like getting around a decade. Okay, so I was 20. Yeah, so, and I was 17 and I was still in high school and uh, we stayed friends since and we've worked together um, in quite a few jobs actually together. Yeah. Uh, we've worked at zoos together, uh, we've worked at a- uh, Animal Educational Outreach Program um, called WIMS. That was a, that, that was a kind of our starter into educational programming. She's actually helped me get a lot of the jobs that I- I bring her where I go. Yes, she brings me where she goes. So honestly, um, a lot Lot of this channel and what I do, um, I would actually have to thank her for that because I feel like so I wouldn't sweet. be where I am if it wasn't for this lovely woman right here. Thank you. So um, if you guys want to check her out, she has a Instagram, which is Carly Wildlife. Um, I'll link that in the description box. Carly's a little more outspoken than I am, so that's another reason. I have a little less chill. <laughs> yeah, that's another reason I brought her on board. She wanted some raw footage. Yeah. Or you're gonna get some. She's got more edge than I do, so um, this will be interesting. So with that intro out of the way, we're going to now look at some of these Kijiji advertisements. So this is our first advertisement here. I'll read it out to you. It says, wanted, looking for cheap Egyptian tortoise. Oops, I already, I already have a complaint. <laughs> and then the description, they say, looking for cheap tortoise, either Western Hermans or Egyptian. Those are very, very hard to get. You're not really gonna find cheap tortoises. There's no such thing as a cheap tortoise. Yeah, especially in Canada. Um, in the United States, I know it's different. Sulcatas are going for like $60 US, but still. But here, uh, the cheapest that you can find most of these tortoises is usually around three to $500. I think it's gone up with COVID. It's the average is about five now. The demand has gone up and due to the demand going up, up with only being a certain amount of babies left, those are more, those tortoises are not more valuable. Um, so you will not be getting a cheap tortoise. There's a lot of uh, strict laws about uh, tortoises outside of Canada coming into Canada. So a lot of them are captive bred here, therefore bringing up the price value. They all should be actually captive bred, I believe. As somebody that owns an Egyptian <clears throat> tortoise, that tortoise specifically, you definitely will not find for a cheap price. Um, in the wild, they are critically endangered. There's only about like 7,000 left in the wild, but there's fear to be a lot less. And in Canada, to my knowledge, I believe there's only one breeder. So if nobody answered your advertisement, you're not getting one. All right, um, moving on now to the next advertisement. This one I think is gonna make your blood boil a little bit too. All right. That was a horrible screenshot. I know, sorry. I can't even, you have to read it to me. Okay, so it says, 
well, a Fabsy beer <laughs> dragon. A Fabsy! <laughs> for $250. Fabsy. And it's an ad. You at least put the effort into making sure you don't have typos. Yeah. You're advertising something. I don't understand how people put zero like efforts into their ads. Like, I'm just gonna post that. Yeah, Fab, yeah. But they take like the worst photo possible. And a potato like, photo. This is like the greatest photo they could have picked for their advertisement. No. So this is the description. Two and a half year old, fancy bearded dragon and terrarium light here and everything you need included. We got a puppy, so have to sell. What? Why? Mm, no. First of all, what makes them fancy? Do they dance? Like I want. <laughs> I just want to know what makes them fancy. They are bored, and they have gotten something else and have replaced it with it. That that type of mentality is not a good mentality to kind of. I just don't understand. So if you can just dispose this, you could dispose anything. I just think that's my per personal opinion. Like don't get something to replace it with for something else. Like that's just wrong. Mm -hmm. um, it shows no sense of responsibility whatsoever. Now I do think that bearded dragons are a little bit more high maintenance in regards to like their diet. Yeah, for sure. Their lighting. Um, and the space that they require for a reptile. Mm -hmm. However, once you have all of that established, it's going to be way less work than the puppy itself. If this is your mindset, please don't get animals. I actually worry for the puppy next. Like that's my next concern is yeah. now we're concerned for the puppy. Next advertisement, <laughs> hamster for sale. Oh, it's sad. Okay, this is what I found. Yes. And I showed, I read it out to her and she was like, what? When she read this advertisement out to me, I had to ask her to read it out again because I was like, that's, there's no way somebody put that as their description <laughs> for this ad. They did. But they did. Wait, I want to read this one. So it says hamster for sale. TBH, I actually don't want this thing anymore. <laughs> it comes with a small bin cage, a water bottle, a wheel, and a hide. No set price, just best offer, LMAO. This this uh, lovely creation of an advertisement has come across our paths and we just have to include it in this video because it is absolutely... It's sad. It's sad. It's, uh, hello? To be honest, TBH, they put. I just actually don't want this thing anymore. Usually hamsters live about two to three years. Two to three years. If you, you can't even handle a two to three year responsibility of something that just sleeps in its in its a, alleged bin. What why does it say a bin? Like I'm concerned I'm con I have a lot of concerns. I want to know how old this person I is. I agree. I like, think this person is quite I, I is either a teenager or an immature adult. Yeah. I think it's a teenager. For They're sure. laughing at the fact that they don't want it anymore. So they think it's a joke. They think it's a joke. So we actually don't like this sort of thing. Like it's, I know it's just a hamster, but it's still like, it's, you're treating it as its life is not valuable. And that's just kind yeah. of sad. I mean, really unfortunate. And like this person should clearly not own. Yeah. No. Any sort of animal. Like any animal that you bring into your home, whether it's a hamster or a fish, it, it doesn't matter. You are responsible for that animal. It only exists because you wanted it to exist. You wanted it for yourself and now you are responsible for it. So to see people just do things like this really upsets me. People having this mindset that animals are just like accessories. Disposable. Toys, disposable, all those kinds for of things. Your, for your child's entertainment. For your entertainment. Or your entertainment for a short amount of time. They are living creatures and you should put value on their life. Hopefully this hamster finds a new home. Uh, hopefully some that's better than the person selling it. We've reviewed that one, so let's move on to the next one. Python. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm already seeing an <laughs> issue with the tank setup. Yeah, so right away from the picture, we can see that there's a problem, but it says ball python with tank set up for $180. There's a lot of ball pythons out there, especially on Kijiji. And there's a lot of normal types because when a lot of people are interested in ball pythons or looking into a snake, um, typically they'll buy the cheapest, most affordable one because they don't usually care too much about all the fancy morphs that are available. Uh, they'll get rid of it and then you have like a hundred different normal ball pythons for sale on Kijiji. And now you're all competing with those ball pythons that are trying to find new homes. So ultimately the person with the best price is gonna get their animal rehomed and sometimes that best price is no price at all sometimes they're absolutely free now people get a little desperate for sure um but i'm already seeing snake that needs high humidity is on 
Aspen chips. And then he's got one single hide with a small bowl. Yeah. There is no decorations in this tank whatsoever. There is no place for this snake to hide. I can just see the snake not eating. Tank looks really dry. I wouldn't be surprised if I picked up the snake and it sounded like a whistle. Ball python sex oh. comes with tank. Light and water dish, $180 best offer. Just wanted to go to a new loving home as I have a baby on the way. I understand not every things can be unplanned. A lot of the time when people get rid of these animals because they have a baby on the way, it's- I like how you put your adaptations because they, uh, I think the baby's like not real. <laughs> they are having a baby, it's not a fake baby. <laughs> a lot of the time when people claim that they have a baby on the way, um, and they want to get rid of the animal, it's usually because they have fears about the animal, usually harming their child in some way. Why would you not be supervising your child? Or they say that they don't have the time. Having an animal can be very enriching in one's life and in a child's life, mm -hmm. but you need to teach them the proper ways of how to handle them and how to care for them because it's going to be many life lessons there by itself. When they like get scared of like salmonella and stuff like that for the babies. Well, yeah, your baby's not going to be licking the snake. You should be washing um, your hands anyways. Like, yeah. Always be washing it. We're in a time where washing our hands is clearly very important. Yeah. So if you're washing your hands, um, and you're living and you're keeping your animal in a clean environment and yourself in a clean environment that will not be a major concern. Moving on to the next advertisement. So this one here says sick axolotl for rehome. And the description says, looking for a rescue or expert to take my sick axolotl. It is not eating and cannot swim to the bottom. It can deliver depending on location. Hmm. I have mixed feelings about this one. Okay. They don't know how to deal with this. Yeah. Right? They're trying to basically give up a surrender their animal to someone that can uh they don't know what step to take yeah so i do see that this is an interesting one where they're looking they're, they're admitting they're looking for an expert or a rescue because yeah. this is beyond their meat beyond what they can handle yeah right most people don't know that there's even an exotic vet that can help them mm -hmm. right it's not eating and it cannot swim to the bottom I know that uh, from just some of my research on axolotls that that can be a bit of a husbandry issue at times. Yeah, yeah, this one's like a tricky one. Like I, I do respect that they're trying to help it, mm -hmm. but they're kind of, it's, it might be too late. Yeah. Right, it might be too late. Um, yeah, this was an interesting one. Um, I'm glad that the person's looking for a proper like rescue to get help for this axolotl. Hopefully this little axolotl can be saved and we'll hopefully find uh, somebody I, that will care I for I think him. so. I think this, that ad had a good chance. All right. This is one I found. Um, I literally found it maybe five minutes before we started filming just to see if there's anything we could add to this video. We come back to the problem with red-eared sliders. Oh my God. Here we have poor little Franklin. Of course, Franklin. And he is a red-eared slider. Named Franklin. And um, he's in need of a good home. And he comes with tank and all accessories we are moving and not able to take him with us. What do you see here? The bare minimum? Not even. Not even, complete lack of care. Look how dirty that like little bit of water in there is. Yep, so we've got this tank with maybe half an inch of water that clearly has food debris and there's definitely stool in there. You wanna talk about salmonella? This is how you get it. Really? No way there's a filter in there. It looks dirty. There's calcium deposits as the water was evaporating. Um, this turtle can't even swim, I'm sure. Natasha feels the same way, is, um, is very passionate against breeding and supplying red-eared sliders in yeah. as pets, especially in a part, in an area where they can be released and thrive in. I just, it's a no from me. Yeah, I went into a really big yeah. in-depth uh, segment on my last Kijiji ads video, and I did um, mostly on red-eared sliders because they are such a big problem in Ontario. It's a major problem. It's not just Ontario, it's actually every major city in North America. Yeah, I believe that. Um, it's, it's so, it is so bad. There are, there are fines, there are fines for releasing like non yeah. but the thing is how many of those people are caught and prosecuted it's not that common no. and it doesn't scare people our store actually tells people that we don't support the sale of them and to go buy them from a rescue oh the yeah. little green ones the ones that stay small no no the little green ones don't stay small and unfortunately buyers like that are and, the yeah. main contributor to the 
invasion of no, for sure. that's, the, that's the perfect terminology for it it's it is an invasion they're an invasive species they're they're invasive this little one you can purchase for a whole of one dollar i'm sure even for free this person put no value towards this animal and it's just sad it's not fair to the animal don't contribute to the problem our local rescue there is a wait list for people just to dump their red eared sliders onto them and that wait list as you said is like six like six months to over a year and uh, I always just think of all the poor turtles that aren't on that wait list that right. are just being either dumped into the wild or have more gruesome fates. All right, moving on from some of the reptiles again, and we're moving on to dogs. And uh, we wanted to just uh, go over these uh, mutts. These are definitely mutts. Goliath Bernoodle or something like that. It's a goliath designer mutt that's that's what they've created this is a glorified puppy mill and um, just from reading all the descriptions that I'm, I'm reading here um goliath doodle puppies is a cross of saint bernard poodle golden retriever and bernese mountain dog they're charging forty five hundred dollars it is a very lengthy and looks like very well written it does it's very advertisement lengthy. but remember this is kijiji this person is asking on kijiji four thousand dollars starting there is no wait list also that's an also a huge red flag you want a wait list you want people to want to get in line to get your healthy bred puppies yeah. this is a huge red flag there was definitely a website and there was even more um, red flags i literally just typed in this place's name and right away i already found people reviewing this place saying to not buy from them um here's a person in what looks like some sort of uh saint burn doodle community even they don't <clears throat> like these people and it says here that um, it is a well-disguised puppy mill yeah that it's a well-disguised puppy mill and asking uh very lucrative prices for these dogs so there's a bunch of people that have had bad experiences from them go to either a reputable breeder or go to a reputable um, shelter. You wanna make sure that you're getting not only the best service, but you're actually getting what you're getting. <laughs> What's <laughs> cat boy? <laughs> He's a male cat, he's very smart. His name is Catboy. And cuddly, his mom is pure Persian and his dad is a pure- Not Spanish. vaccinated, well. Litter trained, asking 750. That's or give me offer for sale. Give me offer for sale. Look at his eyes, actually. Very pretty cat. I like Catboy. All right, guys, so we have finally finished up looking at all of those Kijiji ads. If you purchased an animal over the pandemic, I don't want to be seeing y'all get rid of it. Mm -mm. I will judge you. Hey, don't be on the next Kijiji Reacts video, okay? Avoid it. Yeah, be a good example for or other people, people just yeah. in general, children especially. If you guys have any other ideas for reaction videos, I don't know what kinds I could do or that we could do, but if you want, we could do more of these and I'd be more than happy to. So just let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, you can let us know your opinion on if yep. you agree with us or not, because you don't have to. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yep, let us know if you agree with us and uh, I think that's it for this evening. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Also what? <laughs> what is that? Rabbit oh. for meat are pets. Three month old Flemish giant. This is the, this is pet are meat per, what? <laughs> Who told you to get a baby? One more time. I can do this. I can, I can do this. A lot of the time, <laughs> a lot of the time when people claim that they have a, <laughs> a lot of the time. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There was a baby. You have a baby. Where's the baby? Is it big or not? Fake baby. It's not even that funny. Oh my god. You broke me. For sure. I know for a lot of new boners, sometimes ammonia. Did you say up. new boners? <laughs> We're having some reptile dysfunction. Okay. But uh, remember, guys, to always be responsible. Well, wait one second. Don't be a bitch.